Oof. All right, everyone. It is a very rainy day. Um, I am... The last video that you'll see of me was, what, the camp video? We're going to fast forward a few weeks because it's been a minute and those were like kind of filmed a little while ago now. So in real time, tomorrow I'm going on a meditation retreat for a week. Um, and so as you're watching this video, that's where I'm going to be. Totally off the grid, no phones, no media of any kind, no books even, like just me, my thoughts. There will be other people around, but um, we won't really be talking with each other at all. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited for it, honestly. Like, I think it's going to be really interesting and like a good experience that will hopefully add more depth to my life. Anyway, I just shopped at the vitamin shop, which I never do. I have pretty much always exclusively like just ordered stuff um, directly from a company or have gone through GNC, but there aren't really many GNCs open to like open close by because so many storefronts have shut down. And so vitamin shop was closer. I wanted to get out of my house. I figured I would try a few new things. So, um, I mean, I just picked up like PE science protein, which I've had before um, to bring with me on my retreat just so I can continue having like higher protein. But I wanted to try a couple of like fun snacks. Um, so I'm not gonna eat them all right now, but I wanna try one of them. So I got two different of these protein brownies from Prime Bites. Um, macros on here are eight fat, five fiber, 24 carb, and 16 protein. And then I think the original fudge brownie has like just slightly higher protein, 17 grams of protein. Um, and then I got two I've, of the legendary protein sweet rolls. So there's a chocolate one there, and then the cinnamon one. I kind of feel like these would be better heated in the microwave for a few seconds to get like kind of soft and warm. So I probably won't eat one of those today. Um, but I figured I would film a reaction to some of this because I don't often go into stores like this to get the samples right and like online you usually have to buy them by the case so i want to just try the normal protein brownie the blueberry one sounds interesting but i think the chocolate fudge is like a little bit safer so this one's 185 calories um seven fat 22 carb two fiber and 17 protein so yeah i don't know what other um like things that this company makes if they do try to shift myself a little bit there but let's see. So it looks, it's about the size of the palm of my hand. It's fairly good brownie size. Hmm. It's good. It's definitely moist, which is nice. So texture is like a nine out of 10. There are some chocolate chips in there. I would say taste-wise, it definitely tastes like chocolate, but it tastes like chocolate the way that protein bars taste like chocolate, um, just because of the artificial sweeteners. I think they use erythritol in this product. <coughs> Ooh. Monk fruit extract and erythritol. So both of those usually have like pretty specific tastes associated with them, so it tastes a little bit like that, like that kind of really sweet um, I almost wish that it was like a salt brownie, like they had big flaky sea salt and bigger chocolate chips, um, just to add a little more flavor, but they do have other flavors. This is just the one that, one of the two I decided to get. Um, I'm gonna finish eating this and then I don't really want to go back home yet. So I might just walk around some stores and hopefully not buy anything because I, I shouldn't. That's no bueno for my budget. Um, I ordered a shirt that I'm excited to show all of you guys. That'll be in another video. But I think I'm gonna click off here. This is the video for this week. Just me eating a protein brownie. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm on retreat right now. So I'll let you know how that goes when I get back.